I don't know what we gonna do or how we gonna do this. This looks horrible. <laughs> Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. So, today's video is brought to you by Wild Wigs. They were kind of sending me another unit to review for you guys. It is also Sippin' Slay, and my number one girl has made her way back into the fray, y'all. Listen, my blueberry joint is right here. I was saving her, but my mama came last week for my birthday and she went on and cracked her open. So, you know, here we go with sipping up this joint right here. Y'all, I've been waiting all week to sip on this joint. Let me see, let me see. Listen. <laughs> For today's video, we'll be showing you guys a new method that I'm trying on my channel as well as on my natural hair. I'll be styling this U-Part unit with a no leave out method, okay? When I say no leave out, that means none of my ends of my natural hair are out. Now, a little disclaimer, I did find this method on YouTube. It is not something that I made up myself. Due to this being my first time trying this method, it's not perfected, okay? So don't try to come for me in the comments about, girl, I can see this and that. I, listen, I know, okay, but again, we working on it, okay? It's my first time. Give me a little, give me a little slack. Just a, just a little bit, okay? We trying this together. So if you wanna see how I installed and styled this unit, make sure you stay tuned for that. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so none of my hair is gonna be out. Now my print, my hair is really tight because I did not twist it down after I washed it. Um, I kinda let her air dry overnight so the cap that I had on kinda, you know, packed my hair down. But that's okay, because we don't need any of this out. So all I'm gonna do is kinda pull it back to the side like this, and then I'm gonna put on my wig cap. I'm about to say, I know I had it on my desk, so I was about to start real early, can't find nothing. But not today, not today, we got it going, okay? So I'm gonna pull this over all of my my hair like this I think <laughs> so I think that's all we need for this right there I think we'll see how long this part is I don't think it's yeah, it's not it's not super long but we'll see okay so we are featuring a U part kinky straight wig from Y wigs um, I think I worked with them before if I did it was like a year or two ago now I have seen some videos of other youtubers using this method to get their U parts together so I'm gonna show you um, what that actual method is it's like a crochet type of method you know on my hair so as you can see it does come with these little you know attachments here to keep the U parts together all I'm gonna do is cut that off okay I used to think that was something before I knew what U parts were I would just be like how are they blending those little straps into their hair like <sighs> god dang it Kai <laughs> this one don't want to come off all the way now you can wear this um as like you know a little half wig in the back or like you know open it a little bit wider to give you know more of you know hair on the side you can also do like a little L situation wait that's not that's not L what's that I'm going the wrong way <laughs> no I don't want to go there <laughs> Like like this, I'm, I'm, I'll figure it out. Like that, okay, you can even do something like that if you want to, depending on how much hair you wanna leave out. Again, like I said, I'm not leaving none out, so you know, we're gonna do what we need to do to get this joint together, okay? Now it does come with the clips all the way around and the combs on the side. It's a lot of security in this joint. However, I'm not really a fan of the clips just cause I feel like on my natural hair, they just pull out. They even be pulling the hairs out on the actual wig, so I'm just not, mm -mm, I'm not a fan of those. But for the purpose of this video, I will use them um, but any other time I would just bobby pin this down. Let's see how long this part is on moi. I think it's gonna be too long. Yeah, so I don't need that. Like I'm gonna put mine like here. So this part goes all the way back here. And that's not gonna work for me because my hair is, you know, a little thin. So how are we gonna do this, Why wigs, huh? How are we gonna do this? All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my initial one Mm -mm. Okay, so to make this crochet little situation work, I'm gonna put it as close as I can to the part without touching the part, okay? So I'm gonna put it right there and right there. I'm gonna put the other ones right here. So let me clip this down. Let me clip that down like that. Let me clip these ones down. And down. Use the combs over here on this side. Now again, this looks horrible. <laughs> 
because my wig cap is showing and because you know my hair is thinner right there so i don't know what we're gonna do y'all i don't know what we're gonna do or how we're gonna do this but we're gonna try to figure out we're gonna try to figure it out okay i'm going to try to move this wig cap back Okay, so you can definitely see my thin hair up there, but we're gonna try to fill that in with, you know, some of our products. This joint is pretty secure on my dome, if I must say so myself. Like, she on there. Okay, okay. So for this part, you're gonna need a crochet needle. It's the same crochet needle you use when you do your crochets, so the latch hook situation. You wanna make sure the needle is going towards the actual, the actual track, okay? So, I'm just gonna pull it through my hair, like this. Pull it through my hair, like that. And then I'm gonna grab some of the wig. Nope, that's not what I wanna do. <laughs> Pull it all the way through, there we go. Okay, then grab some of the wig, close it up, and pull the wig through like such. Okay? And then we're gonna place it back over like this. If I can get it all through there, goodness, okay? Like that, see what I did? See the, see how it covered it? So that's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna do the same thing all the way around. Again, pull it through my hair, grab some of the wig, not a lot, you know, not a lot. Grab some of the wig. Let me make sure this hair is out the way. Grab some of the wig, close it up, put it on, pull it on through and then flip it back over. This is probably the longest part of this process. The rest of it is pretty, obviously pretty easy. <sighs> now with all things me, trial and error is the way to go, okay? It is easy to grab a little bit of the hair that you want to uh, crochet over to make sure that, you know, it's good to go. I'm not gonna grab all of that one, just a little. Come on, the little piece. All right, so again, loop it in there, close up the hook, and then pull it on through. And then I'm gonna take my edge brush here and just brush that hair down like that. Just to kind of flatten it a little bit. So that is how we are looking so far. Okay, now we are here to the point where I'm on the struggle bus, okay? So I'm gonna try a little flip over situation. So what I'm gonna do is take a little piece of hair, I'm gonna flip it forward, I'm gonna pin it on the back side, weave it in a little bit, I'm gonna place that pin going backwards into the track. Okay, so that is how we are looking right now. now obviously you can see, obviously my thinning hair right there, um, but we're gonna try to fill that in with some uh, topic once we're done. This side will be a little bit easier because I am right-handed. Again, go towards the track, take it all through, close it up, bring the hair on through. Let me make sure I'm not grabbing hair that's already done. Not forget to brush. Okay, so that is how that is looking right now this is a lot of kinky straight hair however it's not like super thick this is i believe 22 inches um as always all my specs for my unit will be down below so you guys can check it out for yourself as well as any coupon codes that i may have nothing crazy y'all know how i feel about kinky straight textures i love them for me so you know nothing much to say about that listen <laughs> Are we doing it, y'all? Are we doing it, y'all? I didn't cut my glasses on the whole time just to make sure I can see. Uh, I'm gonna use some of my Topic hair fibers, hair building fibers, up here on the top. Cause y'all, you can see that part is way too, you know, wide up in there. So I'm gonna put some right there. Look at that. Okay, right here. Right up in there. And just touch it up along there, like that. I'm gonna use my comb just to make sure all that's you know good to go and everything. Let me top some of that with some hairspray, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna use my blow dryer on high heat to kind of you know blend this all together. 
Okay, use some edge control right here in the front just to push them flyaways back. Like this. But not really worried about my sides because you can't really see those. So, you know, there's that. Okay, then I'm gonna take my black eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to color some of this in right there. Topic is not gonna stick to anything that is not really hair, okay? It needs some type of hair fibers. Okay, in a little bit right there. The parts that the fibers miss. I don't wanna pack my hair, you know, with fibers. So I just wanna kinda of shade that in a little bit. I'm hoping this looks pretty good on camera. If it doesn't, then you know, whatever. I mean, it's already done now. <laughs> And nobody should be on top of my head like this besides my man, okay? And he ain't home, so okay, back up. <laughs> okay, so that's how we looking right there. Okay, it's pretty flat around. I am gonna body pin the sides over here just to make sure they don't lift up. Cause you know, the wind is still blowing. Okay, we're not trying to get clocked out here in these streets, okay? I mean, maybe you want to, but not I. Now, for these ends are a little scraggly, so I am going to trim them up to even them out. So you can see what I'm doing. Now all I'm gonna do to straighten this hair is I'm gonna go through it with my blow dryer on hot heat, just kinda press through it a little bit. Not too much, cause I want it to kinda be like a natural, you know, a natural look. Okay, and I do wanna brighten up my partner's face just a little bit, so I'm gonna use my L'Oreal powder in the color mm, neutral, I think that's what it is, no in the color N8 Cappuccino. Cappuccino! Ooh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> and it's gonna brighten up that part of the space just a tad. Like that. Nothing crazy, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm gonna put some makeup on real quick and then we'll come back and finish up the styling for this unit. Okay, be back. <laughs> So now that the makeup is all on and pretty much good to go, I need to put some curls in this unit. Now I was gonna rock her um, straight, which you know, she's still cute straight, but I decided to be a little extra today and just put some long curls in her, nothing crazy. Um, very, very loose, very big sections. I just wanna put some movement in the hair is all. So if you need to wear the glove for this little long curler joint, then definitely do that. I'll be burning my little fingerprints right off, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. I don't feel like wearing that glove. That glove made me feel like OJ something and I don't like that. <laughs> Ooh, let me, I can feel that heat on my ear. Oof, let me not burn my ears. That'll be horrible. And I was gonna comb that out. Again, I want it to be loose, like, you know, very effortless type of wavy look. Let me just fix this one. It's going the wrong way. Okay, just brushing for smoothness. I don't have no black hairspray or nothing to like get my grays right. I don't think, let's try this uh, mascara. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. Uh, I think it did. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so this is how we're looking now. What are we thinking? Again, I can't, let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm looking at, cause y'all know I'm blind. All right, so I must say it doesn't look bad. Obviously you can see the knots, but for the, like the process, I feel like for my first time, I think it looks, you know, as good as it's gonna look for my first time. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not, I'm, it's not gonna get no better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously there are things that I want to, you know, try next time to, you know, kind of make this more seamless. But I think for my first time, especially with the hair loss that I have in my parting space, I think I was able to work it, you know, for the most part. Now up close and personal, when you all up in here, you gonna see all this, okay? But when you're a little bit further back, okay, you won't see nothing, okay? And that's what I want, okay? That's what I want. I don't really care about the up close and personal because ain't nobody gonna be in my space, okay? Six feet is still where I need you to be, okay? The hair to me is very manageable. It's very 
soft. Um, Y'all know I love me a kinky straight unit anyway, so you know, there's that. I think this came out really pretty. What y'all what think? What y'all think, huh? Are, are we, are we on the same page? Are we? Are we here? We might be on to something, okay? I feel like I'm gonna try this again. Let me know what you have used before for your U parts, as well as if you would try any methods that I showed you in this video today, okay? Shout out one more time to Wild Wigs for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and any coupon codes I have for this unit down below, so if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.